poison guard with syringe. We don't need a gun. We'll, we'll find one when we get in there. Poison a guard with a syringe. Easy. How about a... How about an antique emetic syringe? And I'll go out wearing bandages. What do I care? Hot, hot heat did it. Accident means it needs to be an accidental kill as well as hit a bystander. Okay, well, that's not going to happen. <laughs> that's simply not going to come to pass. That's okay. What happened to all the silence pistols you used to have? I used them to kill people, but it was too loud, and then I died with them. Find them and take them down. But... They are on high alert, so tread carefully or they will slip away. Oh, they're on high alert, like I care. You really think I can't figure out how to kill this person in a room full of 500 people? Come on, buddy, I just walked over here. Okay, looks like one of them is in the uh, hairstyle area. I know exactly what to do here. This is a classic. I wish I Just relax, buddy. Just relax. You come in here. The secret bathroom. I have nothing... I do have a throwable. So it looks like this. Open it up. Toss it. Pick it up. Walk out. He's not going in? I thought he radioed it in. He said command. Command, come in. We got a problem. Hang on, let me take a peek in here. She's chill. Command, I gotta go check this out. It's gonna work, man. What? Yeah, yeah. Close it up. Don't even know why. I don't even care. I'm just going through the motions here. <laughs> it's a bad day. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, I had bonus objectives, bro. I had bonus objectives. Chibli, hello? Hello? Yeah, I can see why they call this game Assassination 3. All right, now that I'm a guard, I can do anything. I was talking about it with chat. It's so mind-boggling to me that when Agent 47 shoots a chandelier to drop on someone's head, he's like... That's a hitman. That's a lot of variables. You already got a gun. Why don't you just shoot him in the head? And then later, the, he gives the dude the explosive golf ball kill, and he goes, that's a smart hit. If you know that he's going to be golfing up there, that's the way you do it. And you're like, what is he talking about, man? It doesn't make any sense. It can be done. Least plausible assassination attempt in history. Oh, it could be done. You could do it that way. I hope no one notices me. I feel like I really stick out here. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Don't worry about all that. Let me take a peek here. If I saw someone laying down in public, I would probably just let him sleep, man. Cause like, I mean, there's so much pressure to work these days. They're probably just tired.
check if they got a wallet. Yeah, so I could return it to them. I literally work here. It says Securite on my back. That belongs to me. That might come in handy at some point. You never know. Sorry to say, I need your outfit, sir. So something's going to have to give here. Don't turn around. Don't turn around. Give him a quick one of these. I run this joint. Okay, now let's let's be smart. While we're here, we, we kind of got out of the jam we put ourselves in. It's a good opportunity to, to shove these guys in the in the closet so they don't get discovered and then compromise my, my butler attire. Chibli, have you ever had a zucchini slice, by the way? And I, I don't know if I need to say this. It's not a slice of zucchini. I'm talking about the food item known as a zucchini slice. You're really bringing this back up? Because I'm annoyed, man! In Food Guesser today, they gave us an Australian... I guess you just call it an oceanic food. Called a zucchini slice, which was 100% just uh, like a crustless quiche. Like a frittata. So I said France. And they were like, you're dumb. This is in France. This is a zucchini slice from Australia and New Zealand. It's good. I know, I've had a frittata before. Hey, 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 you're next. Hang on, there's got to be like a service entrance over here. Somewhere. Still haven't killed any targets, huh? How's that for stealth? <laughs> Y'all take care now. Hmm, crystal ball. Crystal ball. I don't know how many times I've made that joke. Crystal ball. You know... Maybe... <laughs> Say 69 in French. Easy. Swazon Nuf. Hey, hey, Zyler Keatum. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. They said 79? Fucking Swazon Deez Nuf. Is this like a Deez Nuts thing? You're going to hit me with like a Deez Nuts thing? I don't understand. This is a bathroom. I got to kill some targets, man. I can't figure out how to get downstairs. Okay. This is the tough room. It's you. Okay. Let me just... I, this is easy. You just take a peek. She goes back here. Okay. Chat, how do I cause an explosion back here? I can drop the propane tank. Then I'm assuming I have to shoot it. That doesn't seem ideal. Can I throw a knife at the propane tank? You have to shoot it two times. I mean, I have a rubber ducky, but it's supposed to be an accident. I can't believe I said ducky, too. Spit on that thing. You should leave, okay? Oh, you're watching me the whole time, you creep. You can throw it once to make it leak and then shoot it. Oh my god, she's, she's gone, man. This is going to take forever.
Oh, never mind. No, that's a different person. Take out the guard. Don't worry about all that. I know what I'm doing. It's gonna look like this. This shit is... <laughs> it's crimson, man. This is glowing. Oh my god, she's not coming back. Listen, I they the the hibachi needs more fuel, okay? Oh, she's literally on stage. Where did she I I don't have a knowledge of of the inner workings of the catwalk, okay? Oh, there she is. Okay. Okay, okay. You know, you're off the clock now. You don't have to walk like that. <laughs> That's not going to work. <laughs> I lost the propane flask, too. Alright, well, she came back. I know what I must do. <laughs> so when somebody looks at their phone during a movie, you're like, oh, what a nice environment for us to be. When are you coming home? Man, she's really out there, huh? What the frick is that? She just, she got knocked over. That's a, my legendary bomb caused her to lose her ability to stand up straight, briefly. <laughs> now I gotta ride out the fucking aggro in here. Is she, where's she going, man? Oh. Yeah, this She's is chill. There's nothing going on out here. Why can't I find you? I'm out. Oh, thank God I found you. I need some help here. Hey, hey, hey what? What, what, what is over it? here? Someone's messing about. What can I say? Find some place safe now. Uh, okay. I don't think I'm I don't think I should be here. I'm gonna have to start blasting, man. This is a disaster. Yeah, I'm not cut out for this anymore. Where's the where's the service entrance, man? I gotta get down to the kitchen. I gotta murder somebody that doesn't have as much uh, surveillance on them. Butler's kind of OP though. They can go anywhere. Surely this must be this must be the service entrance. Beautiful. Okay, they won't let me in. Butler's not allowed to go into the service entrance without a key. Sad story. I am going to pull out my gun and start wreaking havoc. Oh, great, I'm back here again. <laughs> Main foyer stairs have a service door at the bottom. Okay, main main foyer stairs. I know where I'm going. Main foyer main foyer stair you you helpful genius. Thank you. Currently busy. Okay. I mean you're a computer program that exists for my pleasure, so can you just like get out of your cycle? Thank you. This is it. This is the most important weapon you'll ever see. Silenced AR is kind of cool too, but... How many shots you get? Whoops. Two. 
Two shots? I think you get two shots with it, right? I'm not supposed to be here. You didn't see anything. I was merely in transit. <laughs> Waiting tables like your life depend on. Yeah. Depend on that. There was no need for that whatsoever. Honestly, brother, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Excellent. There's no need for the poison at all. <laughs> I shot him with the diarrhea dart and then just slit his throat. That's brutal. Nobody wants to die with diarrhea. Exit main objective not complete. That's true. That's true now that I think about it. I feel like it should be... Hi, guys. I feel like it should be easy to shoot a tranquilizer gun without being noticed. Because have you ever seen John Wick 2? There's a scene where uh, Common and Keanu Reeves literally shoot silenced guns at each other. Like across a crowded metro station and nobody else even notices, man. So like... I feel like you should be able to do it here, too. It'd be a hell of a shot, that's for sure. What's, literally, what's your problem? What are you talking about? I just was resting. You, if you've got time to lean, you've got time to clean so-and-so. Sorry guys, I got some heat on me. There's no way he hits it. Yeah, but imagine though. Imagine. What about the chandelier? I feel like does this does this thing drop all the chandeliers? That was, isn't that gonna kill like fifty people? Hey waiter. Hey waiter. I'm off the clock. Man, she loves being the life of the party, huh? Hmm. I guess I'd give it a try. I don't think she's in the right spot yet. I don't like it. I don't like this yet. I don't think she's in the right spot, man. Think it'd be better off just popping this bad boy out. Finding the exact perfect spot for it. I'm gonna find a spot, okay? It's just like, she's, she's a rough target. I got an idea. Go ahead, man. They're on to me. Plan B.
She's still just doing her walk, huh? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes! Still two targets? Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely did not work. But it might have thinned the crowd a little bit. Guys? Now, you seriously need to consider putting down the gun. Come on. Don't you move. Hey, I saw him. He's hiding in there. He's right in there. Okay, okay. Final warning. Believe me. Put your hands over your head. Please. Okay, just don't move. Just get on your... Move up. He's engaged. Ah. Don't worry. I got him, and the son of a bitch was... Naked too. Where is he? Is he flanking us? The sick pervert took off all his clothes when I was beating the shit out of him. No, I didn't. Nobody will hurt you. Coming home. Loud. Dude, did they say that the perfect crime doesn't exist, huh? It does look like the start of a mobile game ad. Oh, 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 that'll teach you. That'll teach you to have a tummy ache. Bro, you got a you got a dart in your back. What? You got a dart in your back. Nice. You're crazy, man. You're crazy. I love you, but you're crazy. You never seen old school? Props for the security crew. Thank you, Pete Davidson. Well, let's face it, we're not getting any younger. You look fine. I still can't believe nobody died over here. This is insane to me. Hello. Let me see what I got here. She definitely does not like me. Aren't you a little old to play peekaboo? Why not? Thanks, Sam. Literally, it's illegal to crouch now. All right, good to know. I wish someone told me earlier. We take those. Syndicate member eliminated. Well done, Forty-Seven. You should get back to the safe house. I'll contact you later. Easiest Paris mission ever. Wasn't even close. Never mind, I'll be going in a different direction with this one. We'll be going this way.
Those were smart hits. I think it's okay to drop a chandelier on like a hundred people to try to kill one, but then fail at killing one. So then that person like leaves to go outside and then you shoot them at nearly point blank range with a gun that gives them diarrhea. Hello. Oh, I'm not. I just want to know what kind of chopper you got here. What kind? Of <laughs> no, they be taking my chopper. You know, my reaction when I have bucket. Yay, I has bucket. My reaction when they be taking my bucket? No, they be taking my bucket. Did you know Gen Z? Chibli, this one's for you. Did you know Gen Z considers reaction gifts cringe? I saw a thread on Twitter that was like, I'm Gen Z. It's not that reaction gifts are cringe. It's that the impact font is cringe. Here's some reaction gifts that Gen Z actually likes. And then the first one in the thread was a gift from the office. And I said, you are a millennial. You are a, a, a double agent. You ordered three beers instead of three beers, okay? First, first gift was from the office. You're running like anti-millennial interference. Plus two, I said the same thing. They're an imposter. Gen Z hates ankle socks too. We're so back. Impressive work you did back then. There are some reaction images. I mean, like, here's the thing, okay? Jake S is a reaction image. So we use it. I can't say that that all reaction images are should be tossed because we use Jake S. There are a few that need to be tossed. Clapping Drake for, for various reasons. Um, any, any gift from the office? The gift from Big Brother where the lady takes a sip of her drink and then spits the foam everywhere? Mike Tyson's face superimposed over Herman Cain? Slowly turning to the camera and then smiling. I'm trying to think of what else. What else would be there? Michael Jordan crying. The one from Oprah? I kind of like that one. <laughs> Wojax? I don't know. I like Wojax for whatever reason. Don't read too much into it. I just find them like, you know, it's, it's dolls. It's amusing. Okay, you know what? We're probably... Do, do the maps you don't know well. First. Guy ringing the bell who looks like he's jorking. <laughs> you can use that one. I don't mind that one. Whoops. Headshot kill with a legendary? That's insane. That's not going to happen. None of this is going to happen. If anything's going to happen, it's definitely going to be Silent Assassin. Oh, wait. We're so good, bro, because we got, uh, we got the emetic poison now. Nothing can stop us. When you reach your destination. Kitty Foreman from that 70s show pouring an entire bottle of vodka into her cup. Yeah. I feel like, you know, as millennials, as we, as millennials get older, there are some parts of our culture that we're going to have to reckon with. Drinking culture is, is still too glorified among millennials. It's our generational cross to bear. Welcome to Ambrose Island. Intel tells us that the operative syndicate members are currently in the area. Track them down. Okay, I'm gonna stop blending in. I don't even remember this map, man. They're on high alert, so you need to be careful. It's all we have? Yeah, but it's not... <laughs> Listen, I drink too, but I'm just saying it's not making it any better. If you are a, a millennial and you drink, you just have the same cross to bear that the Gen X smokers have, which is boomers could be like, shh, 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 this is what it's like to be an adult. But if, for Gen X, you have to be like, yeah, I shouldn't do it. Never start. You shouldn't do it. That's how I feel about like, like drinking in the modern day now. Partly because I'm, you know, getting a little older, but also partly you know, I think it's the responsible thing to pay forward to the next generation. Okay, one, you don't like me. You don't like me. That's fair. Step one, very simple. They call me the seeker. I've been shooting low and high. 
won't get to get what I'm after till the day I die. Gen Z is making smoking cool again. No, I think they're kind of making... I don't want to say they're making nicotine cool. But with, with Zins, I'm not supposed to be here. I can at least see what you're going for. But vaping, I find personally very cringe. I don't know what I'm going to do with this guy. Can I just push him over the edge? You guys going to spot me? Be a blow to the Blend in as fishermen. Engaging in combat. Okay, hang on. It's me. You there? <laughs> Get out of here. No. Move, move, move. I hear you loud and clear. Garden fork. Brick. I'm just chilling, man. Yeah, sometimes you gotta blend in as a fisherman. What the hell are you doing here? Ain't nothing personal about this. Close the door. Beach is all clear. No sign of our guy. Out. He said beach is all clear, no Whoa, dude! We're so free. Hang on. I'm sorry about this. Dead men tell no. The hell did he get away so fast? Dead men tell no tales. Now nobody knows. <laughs> anyway. If you vape, I'm not saying fuck you. All I'm saying is that I do look at people vaping in public and I don't think that it looks cool. I think that it, the, the impression that it gives to me, I would never, the impression that it gives to me is that this is an adult. And this is maybe not fair, okay? But I'm too dumb to temper my take to appeal to a mass audience. It gives the idea to me that this is like a grown adult who needs a hit of flavor like every 40 seconds in order to handle the problems with modern life which i understand you know most people have a vice of some sort but i definitely don't look at it and go that's a cool guy i look at it and go i you know i go that's a person that's just making it work so all i'm saying is if you were vaping because you thought that it made you look cool you should stop if you're vaping because you're addicted to nicotine, that's a different story, I suppose. You know, you gotta, that's a different, that's a different set of constraints. Sorry, you don't have the right clearance. I can't let you pass. I'm not welcome here. Okay. Cigarettes look cooler. They both don't look cool, but maybe that's the millennial inside of me. You haven't seen Mad Men? I've seen, I've seen Mad Men. Every artsy movie has hot pe people smoking cigarettes? Yeah, yeah, I know. Is that how you determine what's hot? Is like what actors and actresses were doing in a brief encounter? Yes. All right, well, you know what? I disagree anyway. I disagree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, like, listen. Someone said my mom quit smoking by vaping. I understand that. That's a, that's a positive harm reduction thing. It's when people like, I don't know, just start vaping out of nowhere that I'm like, that's not how I would have did it. Like you went from nothing to vaping? Isn't that like just starting methadone for sport?
I gotta be honest, brother. Life's too short. Take one of these. We'll follow it up with one of these real quick. I lost Silent Assassin, huh? It's hard to believe. <laughs> Anyone giving you any trouble? Everything is under hey, control. Put it Just in the holster. Sorry, sorry. Is this illegal or what? Like, it kind of blew my mind when I watched that documentary on um, Jewel. And then there were high school kids that are like, I take like 90 hits a day off my Jewel. People are going to say it's like naive. But, like, I had kids I went to high school with that were, like, smoked. They would smoke, like, you know, a few cigarettes a day. To see, like, a kid on the honor roll be like, I, I hit the jewel 90 times a day. I was like, what the fuck? You're, like, 16 years old, man. It's frightening. Hey, I'm, I'm fucking walking here. But if the jewel existed in 2003, some kids in my high school probably would have hit it like a thousand times. No disrespect, but your generation soft is what I'm trying to say. Wooden torch, huh? What do we do with this? never seen this weapon before. <laughs> That's got a sting, man. <laughs> You've spread fear with oh, man. Never seen that one. Hit my man on the head with a burning log. And extinguished it. One time I was in the bathroom, the guy next to me started coughing. I was worried that he was okay, and then the smell of cotton candy started emanating from his stall. This again, you're you're putting me in a in a in a rough spot. I don't really care if someone vapes. All I'm saying is when I see it, I do not think that it looks cool. Cause I think I don't know. I'm probably as guilty of this as anybody else, but like right the idea that like, oh, life's hard today. I need to like taste an artificial sweetener. I find it, it's like a weakness within myself as well. So when I see it in other people, I'm like, it's kind of pathetic. <laughs> well, I do the same thing. It's just with like potato chips. Can I? Can I, is there a way to get down over here? Yes, there is. It's a hostile area. I am not supposed to be here. That's all right. He probably won't see me. And if he does, we blast him. All right, well, okay. You throw out those chips yet? No, but I am thinking about it. Oh, it's only hostile because I'm climbing. You're right. Oil canister. This time we're going to make it work, man. Eat them, you bitch. I'm not going to eat them. I will eat them if I keep them, which is why I have to either throw them out or lie to you and tell you that I donated them when actually I threw them out. I'm just going to wait here for a second. What's the chips lore? Bought three bags of chips for our camping trip. 
came back a day early. I got one extra bag of chips that's just sitting there in the pantry speaking to me like the Green Goblin mask. I'm not going to go to the park and feed them to the birds. That's insane. You belong in Home Alone too. Flavor? They're Lay's Miss Vicky's crossover. So they're spicy dill pickle. I mean, it's a primo flavor. I'm not going to deny that. He hates me? I got a great idea. Smoking kills. Bro, I can't spill oil here. How dare you break wind before me? I'm sorry, baby. I didn't know it was your turn. This is like when I was looking up where is it okay to wash my car in Vancouver? And they were like, it's illegal to wash it on the street. It's illegal to wash it in your driveway. If you can, park it on your lawn and wash it there. And I was like, okay. So you know what I did? Close the garage door. I washed that shit in my garage. Come get me. Come get me. Nobody even noticed. Oh, man. So not worth it. What are you talking about, not worth? What's the problem? What's your problem? Literally, what's your problem? That's got a sting. And nobody's the wiser. <laughs> and nobody's the wiser. Oh, hey, who the fuck was that? Oh! They're all bad people, okay? Just because they're not my targets. You don't get employed in this organization without being a piece of crap. And then all the way over to Lin Sing. Don't mind if I do. Lin Sing in the membrane. So true. You got to poison a guard? Oh, with the syringe. You're right. I got to poison a guard with the syringe. Well, I don't have to. Kind of flush. Anyway, I washed my car because a bird pooped on it. Trust me, I wasn't happy about it either. <clears throat> you think I wanted to go to Home Hardware, pick up uh, a bucket, a sponge, a drying chamois, and some like Armor All car soap? No shot, man. No shot. Why not go to a car wash? There, there's like six in Vancouver and they're all uh, not That's really in not Vancouver I mean we needed a bucket and a mop for this you know what I'm saying you didn't have to wash it you don't understand I told my wife that I was gonna wash it ergo I have to wash it otherwise she's gonna get the ick Not the ick because the car is dirty, but the ick because I said I would do a chore and then I didn't follow through, which makes me not reliable. It's minus aura.
Where are you at? You just made my list of things to do today. Insane kill. <laughs> Be a blow to the syndicate. And then, just give me a second. I mean, it's a thousand Get man bucks, man. You gotta at least, gotta at least consider it. He looked away while drowning her. Yeah, because it's violent, man. Uh, hi. Yoink. This way. Anyway, I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> Dude, we're going to win our first campaign. It's not going to be today, though. It's going to be tomorrow. Something about the ick? Yeah, I mean, that's... I mean, uh, listen, it's not marriage advice, necessarily. It's my marital experience. Me being a naive younger man, something's wrong in the house, in our abode, a chore needs to be done. You don't do it, I'll do it. But then my ass like doesn't do it for like three days, and then my wife does it, and I go, why did you do it? I was gonna do it. I told you I was gonna do it. And then she's like, yeah, but you weren't doing it. And I'm like, I was gonna. I just was waiting for like the perfect moment for some reason when motivation would strike. Now I'm tr I've turned over a new leaf in the last few years. If I say, like, I've got that, I, I move it up the priority queue as early as possible. Yay or nay, dishes aren't chores, but they're a necessity. Well, I don't know, are you being semantic? I consider them, they're, they're a chore, but it has an irregular um, pattern to it. It's not like, oh, it's Saturday time to do dishes. Like... I, I think of dishes the same way, like, it's a chore snack. You know, if you're feeling a little bored, that's like a cue to go to the sink and see if there's some dishes. And if there's some dishes in there, you do the dishes. You know, you're not like, oh, I need to clean the house, let me do some chores. But you're like, nah, I'm a little restless right now, let me see if there's like some light maintenance I can do. Good work back there. The syndicate took a serious blow. There is still much work to get done. Just do it after you use them? Yeah, well, you know, if you can. Sometimes, you know, you got people over, you go to bed at like 10 p.m. and you're like, I'm just going to do it in the morning. It can be tough. Sometimes you got to find the time. We have three missions remaining. Okay, it's 2.12. Let me, is Kate already live? Hitman's got a little bit of a fuzzy end time sometimes. Kate is live. Then in that 